Oh man, it feels feckin' good being able to break out an old favourite weapon of mine again and just completely wreck face with it. Running around with this big stupid grin on me face as I see all of those orange and red crit damage numbers popping up on my screen over and over again. So the setup in this video, dual ikers with a 7.5x crit multiplier. I know right, the gladiator mod set combined with blood rush to give me that stacking 225% crit chance with my melee combo counter because I only use 4 of the gladiator mods and of course condition overload thrown into the build for good measure. Sounds like a bit of overkill right? Just a little bit, but fuck me it is a lot of fun. now. This is the kind of build that is tailor made to a very small set of high crit damage melee weapons because that's what you need to aim for. So with the introduction of these specific mod sets into Warframe that boost certain setups, we've had to mess about and tinker with different builds to see how we can actually get them to work and just how good they will be when you put them up against already tried and tested setups, powerful setups, like will they compete with those builds? Having to switch out some of these mods that you've grown accustomed to using, having to get rid of those in order to make way for some of these set mods can be a little bit frustrating on certain Warframes and weapons, but with the right Warframe and with the right weapon they are definitely worth it. Now at the start of the video I took out 6 level 150 heavy gunners in about 30 seconds and the reason I went against level 150 is simply to show you how quick it can kill those scaled enemies compared to I guess if you're normally running against level 100 enemies then it's going to kill those a lot quicker. Now this gladiator mod set works the exact same way that blood rush does. A full set of the gladiator set will increase your melee critical chance by up to 90% by stacking with your combo counter. It will also work alongside blood rush so they stack together for a maximum of 255% crit chance that will stack with your combo counter but for that amount for the 255% you will need all six of the gladiator mods equipped which will mean dropping out a lot of mods from your builds that you're probably used to running to get these mods to actually fit. Now in this footage I'm only running with four of these gladiator mods equipped and three of those gladiator mods on my warframe but for this setup to be as powerful as possible I decided I wanted a melee weapon with an already high base crit damage multiplier and one that wouldn't require me to sacrifice too many mods which narrowed the field down to weapons like the Atarax, the Prisma Cleavers, the Jewel Zorans, the Obex and and of course the dual ikers which have a three times crit multiplier because your crit chance is going to be ramped up steadily by the blood rush and of course that gladiator set piece passive crit damage should and i guess was my priority the dual ikers are already toxin based weapons which means i could free up one elemental mod slot and just pop in an electric mod or a cold damage mod to give me that corrosive or viral combo because it's already toxin based it meant that i could stick gladiators might in that slot that elemental slot and combine it with organ shatter for that seven and a half times crit damage multiplier drift in contact for a combo timer life strike because it was a melee only run which meant i needed a top off every now and then and condition overload because well it's condition overload and even with a 30% status chance it procs effects a lot of the time which means you're going to be throwing out a lot more damage. Now I tried this setup on other melee weapons that have a high base crit damage multiplier but the Prisma Cleavers needs that syndicate mod so that was one less mod slot for me to actually use and with the Atarax having to drop out a reach mod or a speed mod it hurt the weapon way too much to actually make it fun and of course maiming Atarax is a thing so it's going to be hard to fucking beat that. The Oberon I'm using is just for his constant heals and I'm running with the Gladiator Resolve which is 180% health gladiator finesse which acts like a mini quick thinking mod and gladiator aegis which gives you 45 percent extra armor the rush mod in the excellent slot of course was just personal preference for running between targets faster you could put in the power mod there to give you more armor from his hallowed ground buff so oberon is healing himself constantly with his renewability active he still has a solid amount of armor because of that hallowed ground armor buff the rage mod is constantly regenerating energy from him as he's taking damage and of 
course, I have got Life Strike equipped as well, just in case I need to top my health off when panic sets in. The Gladiator mod set is definitely a lot of fun, but it is very specific towards what weapons you want to run with. Well, it was for me anyway. Maybe you think differently. Let me know in the comment section. If you get the right crit damage weapon, one that you enjoy running with, it will hit bloody hard. Warframes, I guess you could bring any Warframe you want. I just brought Oberon because it helped keep me alive by healing me constantly. Warframes like Volt, Valkyrie can help you with slower weapons if you want a slower weapon. They will help you swing that little bit faster because of their abilities. I also ran with Atlas with the exact same setup and he honestly just face tanked the crap out of everything and I kept him alive simply by using Life Strike whenever I needed to. But like I said, Oberon was definitely a lot easier to run with. So are these mods worth it? I guess for certain builds and setups, they certainly feel like they are worth it, but they are pretty specific builds or pretty unique builds. I mean, if you put these builds up against, say, a Legion on its own, will still wreck. A Maiming Atrax will still wreck. Galatine Prime, Skoliak with a Riven, I mean, all of these weapons or these setups completely wreck face. And whether this is better than those or not, I guess you yourself are just going to have to see for yourself and have a little bit of fun with it. Even my Silver and Aegis Prime with its status chance and crit damage driven with this exact same setup allowed me to kill level 150 heavy gunners faster than what the dual Ica was so i guess it is what it is now let me know in the comment section below what you think of this gladiator mod set whether you're going to run with it or not do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't subscribe for more warframe and as always thanks very much for watching